Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. And if you're wondering why I'm holding a broom, it's because it's winter and we're gonna be talking about my observatory. Okay, so it's actually not that bad today. All right, so it's important that the inner dome actually gets cleared off. Um, that's because it's going to have to uh, fit in the outer dome, so, or the clamshell. So I just have this broom. Yeah, and I just basically push most of the stuff off. I do have it facing south, and that's so that uh, it works pretty well like that. And that's all I have to do. Now let's go and open it. Awesome. So hi, and welcome to my observatory. So in today's video, I'd like to talk to you about my observatory, which is actually a sky shed pod. And sky shed has been making these uh, pods for probably as long as I've been in astronomy. In fact, this uh, particular unit is now over 11 years old. I bought it secondhand from a fellow in um, the neighboring county. And I've installed it here temporarily until I have enough money and uh, time to actually build a proper deck for it. So it's, it's kind of level, <laughs> kind of level, but it, overall it still works. The wheels still spin, some a little bit better than others. But overall, the condition of it is actually quite good. This is uh, definitely a sturdy structure. It's definitely excellent purchase and if you have the required eight feet by eight feet sort of space on your property with decent skies i would definitely highly recommend that you consider getting your own self your own observatory it has a lot of advantages first one being you can have your equipment set up and ready to go and this is really important especially if you're doing astrophotography because setting up your equipment every night dragging it out going through all the calibrations making sure that you have polar line all the other stuff can be a real hassle now Obviously, with astrophotography, I still do need to do a nightly polar line just to double check because I am sitting on the ground and the ground does shift and move as the temperature adjusts. But overall, I have to do relatively little to get going in the night, which allows me to take advantage of short nights. Um, the occasional, like if it's really late at night, I can come out um, and still do some astronomy at like 11, 12, 1 o'clock in the morning for like an hour or two and be able to close up without having to deal with the normal thing of saying, okay, it's three o'clock in the morning. I now have to put all this stuff away. Doesn't have to do. I just have to close the dome and I'm done. So I have the Edge HD. This is the eight inch version set up uh, for tonight's imaging session where I'm hoping to finish my mosaic I've been working on of the Orion Nebula. And it's a good telescope to have out because I would say eight inches like this is probably the sweet spot for what this observatory is made for. And the reason for that is because while you can get a nine or 11 inch telescope or even a 12 inch and it will fit in here <clears throat> the reality i found is that when you start trying to get things close to the zenith you do kind of clip the top of the dome now sky shed actually does sell a product called the z table or z table um, which allows you to basically unhitch the clamshell and then push it off the side of the dome onto basically a table structure which will hold it which will allow you to get a full sky view so Here's a picture from the website and you can see the PZT table in action. I also should mention that there's also a dome cover that's available for it, as well as the various pod bays that you can sort of see here in another photo. I definitely recommend checking out the website for more information about all the different accessories that you can get for this pod. Now for where I'm located and where I positioned my telescope, I have very good south skies up to zenith, obviously straight up, um, and decent to sort of the northeast and the northwest, but northern wise, not the greatest. So I can still see Polaris, which is important. So while using a tripod in this observatory is definitely possible, I do highly recommend that you get yourself a pier. 
And the reason for that is it'll give you more room to walk around the scope and for storage. Um, okay, so this is my current setup on the inside. As you can sort of see here, I have purchased the pier. I just haven't installed it yet because I don't have uh, a deck underneath and I do not have a, a hole for the pier. So I've been using my tripod, which you can sort of see here, gives me a certain amount of space and allows me to sort of go about. Now, my particular setup is just the core dome. I don't have any of the extra bays that you can buy with it. Uh, they do allow for better use of space and connecting up to your computer, etc. being able to observe while you're in here, especially for those who are doing more scientific grade observing, I would definitely recommend that you get a bay or two if you are like me, where you're doing purely astrophotography or possibly visual. All right, so the dome itself actually rotates. It doesn't take a lot of effort. For me, this dome is 10 years old, so it is not as brand new as before, but also I have some wood holding it relatively flat, relatively flat. So I do have a bit of uh, some drag that you would normally not see in a proper installed dome. Now, the Skyshed pod is held together by these rollers here, this rolling system. And I think you can see it works pretty well. And the dome is actually in four pieces, um, quad quadrants that you basically attach here. Now, I should mention about these quadrants is that um, there is some weather stripping in between them. I've, as I said, purchased the second hand, um, had it taken apart, put it back together, and overall the um, waterproofing stays pretty good. I do have a little issue here in the corners, which I will show you here. Right here, um, where there is a little bit of water dropping through. So I have it where I position the dome just simply so that has a clear path down to the ground. Um, when I look at actually seriously putting this into a permanent location on top of a plate, I'll probably uh, upgrade that weather stripping with something a little bit newer. But at the time I was like, even when it's raining, it's relatively uh, not an issue. I hope you enjoyed this video. I've been really happy with the observator this observatory. Um, it's worked out quite well for me. And as you can sort of see here, um, I'm five foot nine. I'm standing more or less at the base, actually. I'd be actually up here if I was, didn't have a floor, <laughs> if I had a real floor, but uh, I don't have a floor. So I'm a little lower on the dome than I think most people would be if you were standing at five foot nine. Um, in terms of like closing the dome, as I'm closing off here, you can sort of see that it's not too difficult. I didn't put the pier right there. We're gonna do it from this side. And uh, yeah, be sure to uh, like and subscribe and all that stuff. But uh, overall, this is a pretty basic um, system to work and it's really nice. Oh yeah, clear skies.